my invisible friends hello and welcome back to our series on electrical engineering this is the second of a sub-series of eight videos dedicated to power in AC steady state before we begin with the question let's remember something that we learned last term last term when we were studying operational amplifiers I asked my students to memorize four basic configurations the inverting amplifier, the non-inverting amplifier, and two others. This is one of those. This is the non-inverting amplifier. Its gain, its voltage gain, tells us how much bigger the output V out is than the input V in. And for this configuration, we have seen that that gain is ruled by the values of the two external resistors, R1 and R2. That is a voltage gain. If we multiply the input voltage V in by the voltage gain, we get the output of voltage. That easy. What if R1 and R2 are not resistors, but are instead impedances? It can be demonstrated easily that the voltage gain would be a complex number Z1 plus Z2 divided by Z01. Of course, in that case, V in and V out would be phasors. We multiply the phasor for the input voltage. We get the phasor for the output voltage. This is the question. If that circuit is energized by that sinusoidal source on the left, represented by a peak valued phasor. That means that whatever power I compute will have to be divided by 2. Before I continue, I will choose this node at the bottom as my reference, as my 0 volts node. The question is asking what is the average power at this 20 kilo ohm resistor. If we know the current in that resistor, it would be easy to compute P, the active, the average power in that resistor. To compute that current, we need this voltage up here, the output voltage of the amplifier. Let's find that one. We have realized already that this is a non inverting amplifier. Z1 is 2000 plus J4000. Z2 is 10,000 plus J6000. Let's enter those values in the calculator along with the input phasor. Input phasor is 10 with 20 degrees. Z1 and Z2 are defined. Next, I compute what is the voltage gain. Z1 plus Z2 divided by Z1. It is a complex number. Multiply the input phasor by that voltage gain. That gives us the output voltage as a phasor V out. Divide that output voltage phasor by the impedance 20 kilos minus J 12 kilos, and we get what is the current in the load on the right of the circuit. The absolute value of that current squared by the resistor 20 kilo ohm is the power P, the active, the average power in a resistor. Because the value is so small, 0 0.04 watts, I multiply that by a thousand to represent that in milliwatts. But still, we need to divide by two because all of this story began with a peak valued phasor. So that 20 kilo ohm resistor is absorbing 22.4 milliwatts. And that is all for now. In our third video, we will be solving this exercise. Thank you.